my name is Morgan Lee and welcome to the first part of my new series, Traits of a Biblical Woman. Today we will be discussing the trait of a servant's heart. Having a servant's heart as a Christian woman means embodying the spirit of selflessness and humility and following the example of Jesus who served others. Today I'm going to share with you seven ways you can cultivate a servant's heart as well as break down a few Bible verses that talk about this. And while we have this discussion, I hope you can enjoy watching me paint this illustration for my cookbook. Number one, compassion and empathy. Understanding the needs of others and show genuine care and concern for their well-being. One thing that I may recommend you do as you watch this video is write these points down and write how this applies for you or what you can do to meet this point. So what can you do in your life to show compassion and empathy for others? Number two, acts of kindness. Perform small acts of kindness without expecting anything in return, whether that's helping a neighbor, volunteering, or offering support to a friend. Number three, humility. Approach situations with humility, recognizing that everyone has value and deserves respect. Number four, listening. Be attentive and truly listen to others. Sometimes being present and showing understanding is a powerful form of service. Try putting this into practice this week. Make at least one effort to really listen to someone else. Be a little bit more observant and thoughtful in your actions and re reflect on who you think might really need your listening ears. Number five, generosity. Share your time, resources, and talents with those in need, reflecting God's love through your actions. If you're journaling, as you follow along with this video, ask yourself, what are some of your talents or gifts from God? And how can you use those talents to glorify God? Number six, forgiveness. Practice forgiveness and understanding even in challenging situations, reflecting the forgiveness that is granted to you. Number seven, servant leadership. Lead by serving others, putting their needs before your own, just as Jesus did for us. Consider volunteering. There are numerous places where you can volunteer, catering to a variety of interests and causes. Consider local community organizations, schools, hospitals, animal shelters, or church. Nonprofit organizations like food banks, environmental groups, and charities often welcome volunteers as well. Your local volunteer center or government agency may also have information on available opportunities. Think about your skills and passions to find a cause that aligns with your interests. So where does the Bible actually even mention having a servant's heart? Well, in Proverbs 31, 20, it says, she opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. This verse emphasizes the virtuous woman's compassionate nature. 
In opening her arms to the poor and extending her hands to the needy, this verse stresses the importance of generosity and kindness. It speaks to the broader theme of selflessness and social responsibility, encouraging us, daughters of God, to actively engage in acts of charity and support for those less fortunate. This Bible verse serves as a timeless reminder for the transformative power of compassion, highlighting the virtues that contribute to compassionate and caring community. We also have Mark 10, 21, Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. This passage captures a profound moment where Jesus addresses the rich young ruler. It highlights the tension between material wealth and spiritual fulfillment. Jesus called to sell the possessions and help the poor underscores the idea of detachment from worldly possessions and prioritization of compassionate action. The verse challenges individuals to examine their priorities and embrace a selfless lifestyle. It's a reminder that the true treasure lies in acts of kindness and generosity and aligning our lives to reflect the values of Jesus. There are also so many other verses that talk about being generous, giving to the poor, and having a generous servant's heart. Uh, I'll put some of them on the screen here. Now, one thing about God is the science always matches up. There are numerous studies suggesting that serving others can have positive benefits on your own mental health. Engaging in acts of kindness or volunteering has been associated with increased feelings of happiness, reduced stress levels, and a greater sense of purpose. The act of giving and helping others can stimulate the release of neurotransmitters like oxytocin and serotonin, contributing to an improved mood and overall well-being. Additionally, volunteering has been linked to a lower risk of depression and increased life satisfaction. Serving others not only benefits those receiving help, but it also enhances the mental and emotional health of the individuals offering support. With all that being said, I do want to mention that I'm nowhere perfect to any of these things at all. In fact, a lot of this research I did for myself in my own walk with Christ. These are all things that I'm actively working on and I'm trying to get better at, but I personally find this all helpful. So I wanted to share it with you as well. Hopefully you found it helpful as well. Remember, having a servant's heart is a continuous journey of personal growth and reflection guided by Christian values of love, compassion, and humility. I would like to open up the chat as a place for discussion. Share down below one way that you're going to try to be more generous in your own life. I really hope that you like this video. I'm super excited for this series. So if you are interested in following along with this series, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you did find this video helpful in any way, make sure you give it a like. And I hope to see you again in one of my future videos. Bye!